In this video, we will walk you through the configuration process for a start call center. To start, we should create a queue for the call center. Let's enter the call features category of P-Series Web GUI. And we will find queue. Click on it to enter the queue setting page. Click on Add to create a queue. Basic parameters are generated automatically. You can change them if necessary. Then we can assign agent members for the queue, then click on Members. Here we have a list of all available extensions. You can set any of them as dynamic agents. You can log in and log out of the queue. Or you can assign them to be static agents, who are fixed into the queue and cannot log out. After that, we can set extensions to be queue managers. Once selected, the appointed extensions will have higher authority for specific system notification and more operations in the queue panel. We can activate notification for managers on the current page when a call is missed, abandoned, and when the SLA is lower than its alarm threshold. We can move on to the Preferences page to set up SLA time, which is used to measure SLA if a caller waits for a duration shorter than the SLA time, then the SLA is met, and vice versa. We can also set the evaluation interval, which is the interval time for the SLA to be measured. And the alarm threshold can be defined as well. Once set, the system can send a notification to queue managers and the alarm queue members when the SLA rate is lower than the threshold. Then we can click on queue pattern permissions to set up operations availability for agents and managers. You can see all possible operations for managers and agents. Click to activate or deactivate each of them. If you need further explanation, you can put your mouse on the item to see our definition for each item. Once we're down, click on Save to finish the configuration. Now extension users can log into their web client, click on Call Center Console, and in this scroll down list, they can check the word board to see the general performance of the queue. You can enter the queue panel to distribute costs by drag and drop. Besides, you can right-click on the call tag to realize all activated operations, such as call transfer, parking, monitor etc. will be available for the user in this panel. And when log in as an administrator, you can go to reports and recordings of the web GUI to check and download graphical reports of your call center. There are many types of reports available. You can set scheduled reports by clicking on Add Reports on this page. So the system will generate the reports automatically according to your configuration. Then, go to the Download Schedule Reports, and you can check and download the report.